What's up everyone? Justin here back with a new predictions video for WWE King and Queen of the Ring premium live event this Saturday. If you're watching this in America, this Saturday uh right before afternoon my time it starts at 11 a.m. I believe pre-shows at 10 a.m. I'll be up to watch it live. I'll also be tweeting it live at WWE NXT guy. And I will uh, probably do a short review for it. I might go live on that review. I might be on a live stream for that review Saturday afternoon sometime. But uh, before I do my predictions, let's go over the Queen of the Ring Tournament and the King of the Ring. It's been a awesome tournament. Really, really, really good shit. Great matches. Great wrestling. They've given the matches time for the fans to care about. I love uh, this Triple H era and his booking. Like, uh, under Vince McMahon, King of the Ring matches at the pay-per-views and TV, they meant nothing, really, because they're too short. Especially at the pay-per-views, the King of the Ring matches were, like, under 10 minutes or less. The uh, longest one, I think, was, like, Bret Hart... Mr. Perfect from King of the Ring 93, the first King of the Ring. That match, I believe, was like 20 minutes and went to a... Or, not a draw, but I think a count out or something. I know Bret Hart advanced because he won the first King of the Ring. By the way, Owen Hart won the second. King of the Ring 1994, Owen Hart became the King of Hearts. I miss Owen. The guy was an all-time great in the ring. All-time great. All-time great wrestler and worker. Also backstage, I've heard a ton of stories. All-time great ribber. Like to play pranks and jokes on all the other wrestlers. I don't know if his... Uh, Davy Boy Smith, if it's his bag of gear or something, but uh, Owen got his bag hung from the like roof of the arena or backstage near the roof and ceiling and like a pipe. He had Davy Boy's bag locked up around a pipe. Like 20, 30 feet in the air. I don't know how the hell he did it, but he did. Probably got a ladder, but that's hilarious. Played a lot of pranks on uh, his uh, brother-in-law, British Bulldog. Owen Hart, why am I bringing him up a lot? Because today, the guy... Today, it's... Uh, the anniversary of his death and passing 25 years ago, today, May 23rd. Just tragic day. May 23rd, 1999, Owen Hart passed away when I found out. I was uh, absolutely shocked, really heartbroken, and I cried like a baby. But uh, rest in peace, Owen Hart, forever. You will be remembered by me and a ton of other wrestling fans as one of the best of all time. So, uh, yeah, King of the Ring, the Women's Queen of the Ring Tournament. Let's talk about how we got here to the premium live event and the finals, even though SmackDown... Still has a Queen of the Ring match tomorrow night, Bianca Belair, Nia Jax. I will predict that now and talk about it. Who I think will be in the finals. Also, we got Randy Orton, Tama Tonga in the other match 
for the men's King of the Ring to go to the finals to take on Gunther. For the women, start off, these are all first round matches. Shayna Baszler defeated Maxine at a live event. Io Sky defeated Natalia. That was a really good match. Dakota Kai. Lia Valkyrie. Lia, Lyra won. Ivy Nile. Zoe Stark. Zoe Stark won. Advanced. Nia Jax. Naomi. Sadly, Nia Jax won. I'm not a fan of Nia. Never will be. Jade Cardhill defeated Piper Nevin. That was uh, pretty good. It was only five minutes, though. Meechin, Tiffany Stratton, Tiffany won. Bianca Belair, Candice LeRae, that was only 2 minutes, uh, 48 seconds. Good God, that's short. But Bianca advanced. Second round matches, Tiffany, Bianca. It was really good shit. 13 minutes, Bianca Belair wins. Jade, Nijax, only went 2 minutes and... Uh, yeah, I believe Jade got disqualified. Jade got disqualified for hitting Nia with a chair. Zoe Stark, Lia Valkyrie, uh, Lia Valkyrie wins. Shayna Baszler, Io Sky, that was really good. Shayna Baszler loses. Io Sky advances. Let's go to the semi-finals eel sky lyra lyra valkyrie win 19 minutes i thought the women look kind of really like they're getting really tired on raw on monday eel sky lyra looked uh tired in the match looked like kind of it was really good i enjoyed it i like long matches and i love uh women's matches but Lyra EO on Monday could have been down to 15 minutes or 12. It went 19 minutes. It was like a marathon, I guess. That's how Triple H wanted it booked. So uh, Lyra defeats EO. Lyra wins. Again, she's a rookie. I'm not a wrestler rookie, but on the main roster, she's new. She's getting a hell of a push. She's in the finals of the Queen of the Ring. Her, uh, not even a, not even on the main roster a month. And she's already in the finals of the Queen of the Ring. I think Lyra Valkyrie's gonna have a hell of a career on the main roster. And, uh, she has it all. She, she's a good talker for being, uh, from Ireland. Because some from Ireland or foreigners they are not good talkers some of them but Lyra can talk she holds herself very well she's a class act she's a great wrestler and she looks great she has it all so Lyra Valkyrie's in the finals this Friday I'm gonna predict now Bianca Nia Jax because Lyra's a baby face and she's in the finals, I'm going to say Nia Jax wins. And Nia, Nia Jax is in the finals against uh, Lyra Valkyrie in the Queen of the Ring finals. Nia Jax, Lyra Valkyrie. I pick Lyra Valkyrie because I really don't like Nia Jax and I don't think and I don't want her to be the Queen of the Ring. Please, God, no. Please, Triple H, don't give it to her. Let's go to the men's uh, King of the Ring now. The brackets and how we got to close to the finals. Or how we're going to get to the finals at uh, Queen and King of the Ring Saturday. Gunther defeated Sheamus. That was a war. That was awesome. Went 21 minutes. Kofi Rey Mysterio at a live event, house show. Kofi won. Rey Mysterio and the LWO have not wrestled much at all on Raw since they were drafted. 
Uh, Dragon Lee, I don't know what's up with him. He must be injured because they keep having him get attacked. That's weird. Like attacked backstage and taken out by Carlito. Carlito wouldn't know anything about a uh, family or wrestlers attacking other wrestlers backstage. Rest in peace, Bruiser Brody. I'm kidding because Carlito had nothing to do with that murder. Sadly, Bruiser Brody was fucking murdered. But Carlito is probably like five years old or under. He had nothing to do with it. His uh, scumbag dad should have uh, absolutely got the guy that did it and got him arrested and sent to prison, but he didn't. He didn't care. And that's a damn shame. Carlos Colon, you ran the company. Bruiser Brody, I'm sure, was a draw for you, and you didn't care that he was killed. That's uh, absolutely disgusting. And uh, vile that they really did nothing. Or I think they did have a trial in Puerto Rico, but the guy was in charge because a judge and the jury were wrestling marks, probably, and they were all marks and didn't want to send a wrestler to prison. So I believe he was not guilty. I think in the courts, I'm not sure. But anyways, uh, I think Jose Gonzalez was his name or whoever did it. Fuck him. I think he's still alive. Hopefully he's old. He's an old fuck and he's suffering and in bad health. Because Bruce Brody didn't deserve to be murdered. So, uh, where was I? Yeah, back to the King of the Ring in the history of the... Who went over to get to the finals. Ricochet took on. Dragunov. That was a hell of a match. And uh, Dragunov moved on. Jey Uso, Finn Balor. Jey Uso won. AJ Styles. Randy Orton. Randy Orton wins. Baron Corbin. Carmelo Hayes. Carmelo Hayes won. Randy Orton. Carmelo Hayes. Randy Orton wins. Uh, L.A. Knight, Escobar, L.A. Knight won, Angelo Dawkins, and Tama Tonga, Tama Tonga won advanced, L.A. Knight, Tama Tonga, Tama Tonga wins advances, and now we have Friday Night Smackdown, <clears throat> Friday Night Smackdown live from Saudi Arabia for the first time ever, that crowd will be very hype, very loud. The fans will really be into the into it. Uh, fuck the Saudi government. I don't give a rat's ass about them getting the show. But for the fans that are true fans, I hope you enjoy yourself at a SmackDown and Premium Live event. So, uh, Randy Orton, Tama Tonga, Friday on SmackDown. I got, because Gunther advanced to the finals, he's a heel... I think eventually Gunther will be a babyface. I think when he wins the World Heavyweight Championship, he'll get a major babyface pop in reaction. But for now, Gunther's a heel. But I love the guy. I respect the hell out of Gunther. I don't care if he's a heel or babyface. I love heels. I really do. Female heels and male heels are great. This guy... The shirt I'm wearing. One of the greatest heels of all time. Really. He was. You want to talk about like top. Make a list. Top five heels. Rowdy Piper was definitely in the top five. So uh, Randy Orton I believe should win. Friday. Randy Orton wins on Smackdown. Goes to face Gunther in the finals. Now I'm going to predict. The King of the Ring Finals. Randy Orton Gunther. It should be awesome if if it happens if Tama Tonga doesn't win. Tama Tonga Gunther is a weird matchup if it happens. 
That's a weird uh, mashup for those two to face each other, I feel. That would be very odd. I would rather see Randy Orton Gunther than Tama Tonga Gunther. Randy Orton, one of the best of all time in the ring. He's uh, definitely a locker room leader now. He's a longtime veteran, over 22 years already. But Randy and Gunther are going to tear it up. Absolutely tear it up. Could be a match of the year. Randy Orton versus Gunther is my prediction in the finals. Gunther wins. He should win. A loss will not hurt Randy Orton at this point in his career. Gunther, your new 2024 King of the Ring winner. King Gunther. That sounds uh, damn good. So maybe I'll start coming out. He should on Raw and TV every week. Come out of the... Uh, a robe and a, the crown every week and have the ring announcers call him King Gunther. For the women, again, Nia Jax should not win in the finals. My pick to be the queen of the ring, my prediction, Lyra Valkyrie should win. Nia Jax does not need it. And I'm not picking two uh, baby faces for the king and queen of the ring. Lyra's a baby face. Gunther's a heel. Please don't have Nia Jax fucking win. Nobody wants to see Queen Nia. No thank you. She could uh, get released or leave the company again. I would not miss her one bit and then let the door hit her in the ass. Is what I think about her. So uh, there, I did the King of the Ring and Queen of the Ring finals. Now the other matches. There's not that many. There's only five matches booked. But that's what Triple H does. Five or six matches every premium live event. Unless it's the Rumble or Survivor Series or WrestleMania or SummerSlam. Then we get more than uh, five or six matches. As we should, because those are the big four. Big four premium live events should always be like over three hours and have about eight to 12 matches. So uh, Becky Lynch defends her women's championship against Liv Morgan, and Liv is on her revenge tour. Currently, she's on her revenge tour. I love it. I love Liv. I fucking love Liv Morgan. What a great talent. She looks like a million bucks. She's hot as hell. She can talk, cut good promos, good interviews. And I love Liv is a heel. Liv Morgan is a heel. Yes, please. More of it. More of it. More of Liv on my TV is a heel. Eventually, she's going to join the Judgment Day, I believe. And uh, take Rhea's place, and then Rhea could return by, I don't know, SummerSlam or Survivor Series. I don't know. I don't know when Rhea can return. I miss Mommy. I don't know when she'll return. If she had a bad shoulder injury, like a rotator cuff, surgery or something she'll be out like eight months or more she might not return till before wrestlemania 41 i hope i'm wrong i hope Rhea can come back by SummerSlam to like attack live or something becky doesn't need the title i wanted live to defeat her on raw but it did not happen or the battle royal where Becky won the title. I wanted Liv to win. Becky didn't need it. But I get it why they gave it to her. She's a top, top draw. Liv should win the Women's World Championship. And hold it for a long time until Rhea can take it from her, back from her. That would be a hell of a feud. 
live real matches like for, a, I don't know, two or three months a feud over the women's title. Becky, Liv Morgan, my prediction, Liv Morgan wins. Please give her the title. So, uh, yeah, Liv Morgan. Up next, Intercontinental Championship Triple Threat. This should be damn good. Sami Zayn defends against Chad Gable with Otis. Maybe Otis will cost Gable the title. He should. Stop getting fucking punked, Otis. Stop getting stepped on. Stop getting abused and bullied. Stand up for your damn self, Otis. The fans love you. I love you. Stand up for yourself. Don't take Chad Gable shit anymore. So, uh, but yeah, I love the storyline where Gable's just putting down the Alpha Academy. I think it's awesome to have a uh, heel Chad Gable. He's acting like he owns them, like he owns Tozawa and Maxine and Otis. And if they don't listen to him, they're losers. And if they don't do what he says, they're losers. So, uh, I think Otis definitely costs Gable the title. And, uh, Bronson Reed's also in it. It'd be awesome if Bronson Reed got a title run, but I don't think it's his time yet. Sami Zayn wins and retains. He's super over. No reason to Take the title off of Sammy. Not yet. So, uh... Oh, yeah. Friday, I just thought, uh, Friday, Tama Tonga, speaking of Sami Zayn, Kevin Owens, his best friend, I think will cost Tama Tonga, the king of the ring, to go to the finals. Kevin Owens will probably return... Maybe not. I don't know. But eventually, Kevin's going to return and attack Solo and uh, Tama Tonga. Because they beat the fuck out of him and bloodied him up. So, Sammy retains the Intercontinental title. Now the main event for the WWE Universal Championship. Cody Rhodes is champion. I love it. This is his first premium live event. Oh, second. Not his first. Uh, second title defense on a premium live event. He's already surpassed our every title reign Roman has had. Cody seems like he's already surpassed Roman with more title defenses. That's hilarious. Probably a live event in Backlash, France. Cody's probably defended the title probably like 8 to 10 times already. To be honest. But on TV only uh, once at Backlash. So Cody defends the undisputed WWE Universal Championship against US Champion Logan Paul. It's not title for title like I wanted. But that's okay. Cody's not going to become a Grand Slam Champion yet. But he has time. He signed a new deal. Probably for three to five years. I believe he'll probably eventually become a Grand Slam champion for sure. Definitely. Cody will become a Grand Slam champion. But this is about the WWE Universal Championship. Cody's defending Logan Paul said, I'm not putting my title on the line. This is not for the U.S. title. Should be really good. Logan Paul, I don't like the guy, but he can work his ass off. I never thought he would get in wrestling, but the guy's a natural as a fucking heel. And for the fans not like him, I don't know how he has any fans. I don't know how the hell he got his fans from YouTube. I don't know what he had did to get a fan base, but... uh. I've never followed his channel and watched any videos of him. Except sometimes any interviews of wrestlers. I watch those interviews, but not his channel. I think he has a podcast. 
I do watch uh, his wrestling interviews. But I'm not watching him for Logan Paul. I'm watching him for the talent he's interviewing. He's interviewed Cena, Rhea Ripley, Randy Orton. I think Seth Rollins. Also, I think Triple H. I enjoy those interviews with uh, Logan Paul. And the wrestlers. Again, I watched for the wrestlers. Not him. He's an idiot. I don't understand who would be a fan of him in his YouTube channel. I don't get it. I don't care what he did. I don't know why he's famous. But he's good in WWE. And that's all I care about is WWE, not his fucking YouTube fan base. Cody Rhodes wins, retains Undisputed Universal Championship. If Cody does not and he loses, that will be a fail of a title reign. Big time fail. And uh, yeah, if Cody loses, we riot. That would be horrible. Horrible decision by Triple H to give the title to Logan Paul. Cody's money for the company right now. The guy's like number one or two in merchandise sales. At WrestleMania weekend, Cody sold over a million dollars. Um, over a million in merchandise. That's unheard of. That's insane. That's like... Stone Cold numbers, Austin 316 shirts numbers, Hawk Hogan, Hawkamania numbers. Cody's right up there with like the top three baby faces of all time in the WWE. To me, Hogan, Stone Cold, probably Cody Rhodes. No, seriously, he's in the top three to five. John Cena too. Because he did a hell of a lot for the company and sold a ton of merchandise. I thought Cena should have turned heel. But stupid Vince never would. He wouldn't turn him. And yeah, I know Cena was heel. But that was in late 2002 and all three. But uh, yeah. So that's my King and Queen of the Ring predictions. I'll be watching live Saturday afternoon. Like, comment, share, subscribe, everybody. Bye for now. Enjoy King and Queen of the Ring if you're watching. If you're not watching, well, or if you don't have Peacock, you don't care to watch it, or you don't want to get Peacock, watch my uh, review of the show. I'll... I'll do a live stream of the review for King and Queen of the Ring. I will be live right after the show. Or 5 to 10, 20 minutes after the show. Bye for now.